Good morning, everybody. Um, today, we are here to talk about Profit First. So, um, Profit First is a book, it's a concept, it's um, a cash management tool introduced by a chap called Mike McCallowitz. And um, it's become you know, quite a, a substantial movement now. He's got accountants and um, you know, profit professionals that are very much taking this um, idea forward and are helping small business owners rethink the way they manage their businesses using Profit First. So let me give you the, the blurb on the back of the book first. In fact, actually, Harry, do you want to do that bit and talk about what it's about? Sure. So um, whether you've heard of it or not, um, we'll just give you a bit of an insight to it. So it's designed to help entrepreneurs manage their business finance in a way more aligned to their natural money management behaviours. Now, Mike McCallowitz believes that by taking profit first and apportioning only what remains for your taxes and for your expenses, and entrepreneurs will transform their businesses from cash eating monsters to profitable cash cows. Which is interesting. It is an interesting concept. And um, actually, Michael uh, McCallowitz, <laughs> it sounds like something out of Monsters Incorporated. It does, doesn't it? Um, McCallowitz. Is convinced that his profit first system is the game changing roadmap for any entrepreneur to make yeah. money that they always dreamed of. So, um, You've read the book, haven't you? Yeah, uh, yeah I read the book um, a couple of years ago, and I, I keep coming back to it. Um, it. It's one of these things that's becoming more well known as more people read it. And also, um, he's started this system. He sort of developed this community mm. of profit first professionals, where um, accountants can become certified in profit first, and then they can learn how to apply the profit first principles to. Um, their clients' businesses. So we've been looking at this for the last um, week or two. Um, how do we find managing our EU VAT liabilities? So not relevant to, to what we're talking about at the moment. Um, right, so, um, so Profit First, uh, it is substantially a change in methodology, a change in the way you think. So um, the, the concept, of course, is that the, the general business owner will, will take a, a business and will look at their business. And um, we as accountants will look at things uh, on the principle of your sales minus your expenses equals your profit. But if you focus on sales minus expenses equals your profit, then the profit bit tends to get deprioritized as your focus is to pay your expenses. Mm. McCallowitz tries to turn that upside down and say, right, OK, so let's take our profit first so that the entrepreneur who's the, you know, the, the most important person in that person's business, the entrepreneur gets paid first and then you manage your business with literally what's left over. Now, there are all sorts of flaws with this system. So it, it's not or not so much with the system, there's an awful lot of flaws with just saying, mm. take this profit and I'm going to take all my profit out first and then everything else, uh, I'm going to run my business with what's left over. Um, if you just did that and you didn't follow any rules or you didn't put any principles in place, you'd, you'd soon run out of cash as you're off spending. And, and we do see that happen quite a mm. lot. It needs to be done in a controlled manner, in a disciplined manner, in order to make sure that you're managing the right expenses and you are servicing profitable sales and you are helping to push your business forwards in order that you ultimately achieve the um, profit distributions that you want as the entrepreneur. So quite clearly, if an entrepreneur wants to take a million pounds out, but he's only turning over a hundred thousand pounds, the, the, the numbers just don't stack up. So it's a principle of being sensible and being practical and being able to cut your cloth according to what fits. So from our perspective, um, McCallowitz has got this um, community of accountants who are all learning how to use profit first and apply those principles to their clients so that they become more profitable. Some of it is basic cash management. Some of it is a little bit of self-discipline. 
a lot of it goes back to um, cash control and the kind of way that our grands and our grandparents probably used to manage their cash when they were um, much younger. So typically, for example, uh, after the war and after the Great Depressions, they money would come in to uh, the household and then it would be allocated into different envelopes so a little bit to pay the rent and a little bit to pay for the groceries and a little bit to pay um you know for clothes or, or mm. whatever it was that they they wanted to allocate their money towards now at the end of the week whatever you had in that envelope was all you were allowed to spend. So whether you had 10 pounds or 20 pounds in your groceries envelope, you could only spend what was there. You couldn't overspend. So there was no credit. There was no borrowing from another pot. You couldn't take money from your rent pot and use it to fund your groceries pot. Um, you couldn't take it from your business owner's profit pot to pay for a debt or a bill on something that wasn't necessary. So it's a uh, profit first is a series of disciplines and behaviors that are intended to help you manage your business in a way that is more natural to the way that an entrepreneur runs their business. So what do we know about entrepreneurs? Well, um, entrepreneurs, not about what you guys have in your experiences, but from what we've seen, entrepreneurs do have the tendency to see the cash in the bank and decide what they're going to do with the cash based on what's physically sitting in the bank. Yeah, absolutely. So no cash, no spending, lots of cash, lots of spending. It's just one of those things that happens. But the problem is in having quite a lot of cash in one go is um, they tend to overspend on things they perhaps shouldn't spend on. And then all of a sudden they end up running short on other items which they perhaps haven't factored in. And then the risk is they commit to these overspending patterns and all of a sudden the sales reduce. And then you've got a bit more of a problem because you've got more commitments now, but with less income. So it's one of these never ending spirals and all of a sudden you find they've got ne less cash next time yeah. and they're still trying to spend. So it's quite a problem. Um, but this, this concept Unless, yeah. does help massively with that. Um, essentially prioritizing uh, some so you might have heard of it referred to as waterfalling, essentially, um, mm. basically allocating cash pots and prioritizing. And the reason we usually say expenses come towards the end is because expenses are the one thing you have the most control over. Uh, taxes sort of set in stone and generally speaking, owner drawings usually are actually more set in stone than people think. But what they risk is, um, Basically, they either short pay themselves, they short pay HMRC, and the suppliers end up being quite happy, though. <laughs> yeah, but I think this is one of the, the difficult problems. You tend to pay um, whoever shouts most, and whoever shouts most is going to be a supplier who mm. wants pain. But what you haven't necessarily challenged is whether you, know, you really needed that cost or whether that cost... Um, is necessary for your business. So profit first also encourages you to challenge all of your costs and make sure that every spend in your business is absolutely necessary and adds value in your business. And if it doesn't, then you mm. have to be brutal and you have to cut it out. So of course that means that most people tend not to do that. When we take over and start looking at um, a new client's accounts, what we often find is lots of expenses, um, subscriptions they've forgotten about, things that they're still subscribing to that they haven't perhaps used for you know weeks, months, or in some cases years previously, things that they're spending that you know just might come in handy um, at some point in the future. Um, things that they're spending on that you know somebody else has told them they really ought to have so they've got it um, trainings that they don't use subscriptions that they don't uh, use and, and so by stripping all of this stuff out you, you need to take a look at each spend and say right okay is this necessary for running my business absolutely necessary be brutal and if it's not necessary, you simply cut it out because, quite frankly, that money is better out of your expenses pot and better off in your profit pot. So that means you can then take that money home instead from your business or you can pay your taxes instead 
Um, so there's a lot of things that we need to consider if we want to start thinking about implementing a profit first system. So today we've just been through the introductions of profit first. Tomorrow we're going to look in more detail at the five bank accounts that profit first suggests we use and how to use those on a cash waterfall basis. Then on Thursday, um, we'll have a look at the cash flow waterfall and how to reverse engineer that to find the profit we need or the sales revenue we need in our businesses to be able to support the spends that we've identified for our business. So thank you for joining us today in our 10 minutes for at 10 for everybody. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Speak to you soon. Bye. Bye.